All right, guys, GoodOldBoy32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting here looking at a set of flashlights from a company called Nightcore. Now, again, I have been declared the flashlight uh, guru from those guys from across the Pacific. And uh, you know what? More power to us. If I can just, you know, highlight what these are. Not endorsing anything, but what I am here to do is just show you what this thing has in it. Now, this is their new MH12GT with the Cree XP-L High V3 LED. If anybody out there can just please tell me what that means, I'd really appreciate it. USB rechargeable, that's important. I can tell you that right now. High capacity rechargeable, 34 milliamp, lithium ion battery and USB cable included. All right, so what else we got here? We got tactical use, law enforcement, defense, outdoors. These guys, this is a pretty rugged flashlight. I did a, a review on one a little while ago. Uh, the ultra compact USB rechargeable flashlight offering reliability and performance in a diminutive, diminutive size with remarkable beam distance. All right, so this thing's supposed to have a 320 meter throw. We'll go ahead and test that out later on this tonight. Uh, tactical tail switch ensures one-handed momentary constant on elimination switch side switch interfaces between easy access to all functions. Uh, USB. I can tell you right now, USB rechargeable is probably one of my favorite things. Uh, just a mini USB. Don't have to have any kind of super special functions or compatibilities or whatever, but that's all I ask for. Give me a flashlight I can hook up to my computer or my battery charger for my phone, and we are good to go. So, okay, so on here you have what appears to be a clip. That's good. Uh, we've got this really cool thing. Uh, I guess what you do is you hook your uh, your tethering line up to it. All right, go ahead and put that in there. A little neoprene fill, filling stuff really quickly. That's nice. Uh, a couple O-ring, replacement O-rings. You've got your instructions. We know what we do with instructions, don't we? And your USB cable, a tethering device made of Velcro, regular USB, and the mini USB cable charger, which is cool. All right, let's go ahead and pop this thing out. Now, I, can, I like this one. I like the feel of it. I like the, uh, what do you call it? The Just the, the, the way it is, the size of it in your hand, pretty cool. Uh, you do have the momentary tail switch on it. You've got the standoff, so you can, well, can you put it up? Yep. You uh, eliminate any kind of accidental discharges with that. Uh, also, you get the replaceable tail switch here. And then you've got the mode button. And this is one of the cool things that I do like about uh, the Nightcore guys is that you have the mode button on the side. You on and off on this side right here. And then that way you're not, oh God, we got strobe there. Oh God, wait a minute, let me key through all this stuff right here because that's not when I want to be doing that stuff. So evidently the, well, maybe we've got a little thing in front of the battery, most likely. Okay, there it is. And we'll go through the modes. I can find the right one. Here we go. All right. So right there, you've got a moon. It's bright, bright, bright. I don't think there's like a switch. You just hold it down to go in the strobe. But here's the thing. There's your switch. All right, guys, so we're sitting out here in the range, and this is the night core. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got my camera set up as best as I can, uh, and I want to run through these settings with you so you can see. Now, that right there, that's 25, 50, 100, and I can clearly see out to the 200 uh, with this uh, light. Now, let me get roll through the settings real quickly with you. So this is the... Uh, hold on. There we go. All right. Oh, wait a minute. That wasn't even high. All right. So now I can see, yeah, I can actually see the 300-yard targets with this thing. Uh, I can make them out. But the 200-yard, absolutely. I wish, I know you can probably, yeah, y'all can see it on the camera. So anyway, that's 50 right there in the middle. That's 100, 200 all the way out there. And with my naked eye, I can see. And as you can see, there's the wood line all the way across there. You can see the spread of the beam. Very nice. I do like it. Clear to find bloom all the way around it. But let's go through the different lighting settings. 
All right, so you can see, well, right here, it is flashing blue on. So we're going to go. That is the candlelight. That's a moon, as you can see there. Then we got the next level. That's 25 yards. You can, you can see out to 100 yards even with this level right here. Then we've got 25, 50, 100. I can see 200. And when you go right here, there we go. There's the 150. Uh, sorry, there's the 25, 50, 100, 200, and 300 up in the top of the hill. Again, you can see that wood line behind me all the way. That's like a blue light on here. That's pretty cool, man. You can actually see that. But in any case, uh, then if you hold the button down, then we go into a strobe mode. Uh, yeah, so hold on. Let's go down to the low level so you can see what's going on. All right, um, so the night core. <laughs> yeah, this flashlight, the MH12GT, I like it. My only complaint, and I'll be perfectly honest with you, the charging ports, a plain old USB charging port on the side of it, it flashes blue. Uh, sometimes, and I have carried this, uh, this light around with me for about a month, and it's a perfect carry. I like the way the size of it as it fits in my hand. I love it that it's tail activated on and off. But it'll, here's my only complaint. The power button on this side is on the opposite side of the charging uh, flap where you open it up. That's my only complaint uh, because on many occasions when I'm trying to adjust the light levels I have where you're fumbling for the rubber piece right here you are trying to press it but that's the recharging flap. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, right there. Then you've got the power mode right here. Let's go ahead and turn it on and I'll show you. So I'm sitting there trying to push the mode, power mode on. Wow, look at that. You've aimed this thing straight up in the uh, in the ceiling and you've got yourself enough light. If you hold it down, well, you got yourself a disco. All right. Oh, yeah. We're dancing. Oh, yeah. All right. So anyway, oh, turn that off. Um, would I recommend this flashlight? Yeah, I would. Uh, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I like the fact that it, ch it charges off of a regular old USB cable versus a, a special attachment. With and If you lose that, well, you have to purchase another one. So uh, if there was an endless supply of the little magnetic things, that'd be kind of cool. But I do like the fact that you can use it. The size of it. It fits in my hand. Uh, if you're wearing 5.11s, it fits in that little pocket right in the front. I like the fact, like the little knife pocket. It does fit right in that thing. So anyway, uh, the knurling, everything on this light is something that I like. The brightness, it, yeah, I have no complaints about the brightness of this flashlight. It is perfect. Uh, well, man, that's almost perfect lighting for a video. Real windy out here tonight. Just got done testing out the Sightmark Wraith. That thing was impressive. Uh, if you're a hunter, I wouldn't. I would definitely recommend that as well. So anyway, with that being said, guys, yeah, now we're to wear a flashlight expert. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more of these things. It seems that every down and then, everybody's trying to send me a flashlight, and I'm just going to give you my honest opinion. This is a keeper uh, for the price. Yeah, I wouldn't mind recommending this one. It's Code Boy 32. God bless America. God bless those men, women, uniform, 24/7 for our freedom. Cause freedom is not free. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a that's not a bad light for what you get. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.